Hi, we're today going to be teaching you guys how to look at crayfish and let's uh, start by showing you the sex of crayfish first. So this very first one is a, a first form male. And one of the things you can tell, the reason you can tell is because it's got a cornified gonopod and that gonopod is very well defined. It's, it's kind of hard. It's got fi very fine structure to it as opposed to the second form crayfish, which the gonopod is flaccid, it's movable, and it's not very well defined. You can tell that the structure itself is kind of club shaped. As opposed to a female, and this is a female that on the last pair of walking legs would have the annulus ventralis. Now, one thing to notice is the extended width of this female's abdomen. This indicates that this female is what we call a form one female or an avidrous female, okay? And the reason we can tell that is because the abdomen is extra wide at its width. And it's very thin. You can see that the shape of it along the edge here is, is very thin. So it's showing that it's, it's expanded. Okay. So a couple of key points uh, to just remind you what we're looking at. We're looking at the keely or the claw. We'll be measuring the length of the body or what we call the carapace and we'll be measuring the tail or what we call the abdomen and the idea is that we want to take measurements from the tip of the rostrum to the base of the carapace and we call that the carapace length. We'll also measure from this this ridge here this is called the post orbital ridge there's a spine there we're going to measure from the tip of the postorbital ridge to the base of the carapace, and we're going to call that the postorbital carapace length. And then we're going to measure the length from the carapace to the tip of the tail, or what we call the telson. And the idea is that's our length. Our length, we're going to take a width, that'll be the measurement across the widest part of the body that's going to be called our carapace width and then we're going to take a carapace depth which will be measured this way from the widest part of the body from the top to the ventral side. We don't want to capture the, the legs, we want to get it all the way down into the sternum okay, of the crayfish. We're also lastly going to measure the width of the abdomen.